All right, right here in front of you is the little step to get up into the sleeper, which is right there. And that's where my converter is. And just to give you a little idea of what's going on here, I'm gonna turn some 12 volt stuff on. And the converter is making that noise. I believe the fan's going out in it, but my battery is a, is a AGM and I'm gonna switch to a lithium and I need to upgrade the converter to a converter that does a lithium. This is a 2008 camper, so it's too old school and I'll show you what inverter I have and what one I'm switching it with. Supposedly it's a plug and play. I'm gonna turn this off so we don't have to listen to that noise. And uh, so I should have a part number for you for the old one. If you have an old, this is a 2008, like I said, if you have a 2008, you wanna upgrade to a lithium converter, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first off, on the step right here, there used to be screws right back here that screwed straight down, but I took those out years ago. So now it just, so now the step just slides in. So we're gonna remove it. And we're gonna put the, put the bench, we'll put the benches up on the sleeper and remove that board. Okay. So just to show you, there's my water tank underneath there. Sorry about that. And there is the converter. And you can see the strap is getting in the way, but you can see it looks like the base is broke on it. So it looks like I'm gonna have to fix the base once I get that converter out. So I'll take a better picture of it once I get it out. So we can compare the difference between the new one and the old one. But we're gonna first start by removing this plate because the converter is actually plugged into here with a 110 plug and I have to reach back there through this panel. Should have had my power drill, but there's only four screws. We're just gonna put them right here. And the last one. I have the shore power hooked up and uh, I need to go unplug that so I don't touch the wrong thing. So I'll be right back. All right, now we're gonna reach back behind here and pull the plug. All right, it's unplugged. Next, we're gonna take a picture of the wiring just to make sure everything goes back in the exact same way that it comes apart. All right, now we're gonna get some light. Wait, here's some light. It looks like the white wires on the outside, the black wires on the inside. Does that help? It looks like there's a copper ground. Let's see if it'll focus. Looks like there's a copper neutral on the side. There's a screw here and a screw here. And it looks like my base is broken. So I'm gonna have to probably build a new base. But I can't pull this out and hold the camera. It's kind of in an awkward position. So I'm gonna yank this out 
and let you know how it goes. If if there's anything not straightforward, I'll bring you back, but it looks pretty straightforward. So we'll be right back. Okay, on the back side, it says positive and negative. In this case, black was positive, white was negative. I did have to take the grate off the side so that I could get the copper neutral off right here. But other than that, there was just three screws, three, two Phillips screws on this side and one on the other side. And let me turn this around. This is the part number of the one I just pulled out. All right, here they are side by side. This is the old one and I'll have the part numbers in the description. And here's the new one. Let me flip it around. And supposedly it's a direct plug-in. They look to be the exact same size. And flip this one back around. It looks like the same exact plug-in right there. It has the same neutral on the side. Two Phillips screws hold it down there and one there. They did say to pull this key out. See if you can zoom in on this key. Pull this key out and put it in the hole until the light flashes green or blue. I don't remember, I have to look it up and I'll let you know. But it, this will do AGM, lead, bas lead acid and or lithium. But you have to push this button to put it in the right mode. I don't remember the number, I gotta look in the or I don't remember the color. I gotta look in the instructions, but I'll let you know. <clears throat> so I don't have, I had to unplug my shore power to, to do this. So I brought out my anchor power supply and we're gonna fire this up because I can't change the mode while it's in the car because this side is too close to the water tank. So we're gonna fire this up. Okay, and then we have to turn it on. All right, and the light is green. For lithium, we need it to be blue. The button is the button is the little one, so we're gonna gonna press it and hold it. until it's blue. Now it's ready, it's in lithium mode. So we're gonna unplug it and it's ready to install. So now we just gotta deal with this broken, this broken stand. We gotta rebuild the stand. So I'm gonna try and figure that out and be right back. Okay, we got the new converter here and we're gonna wire it up outside. I took the grate off. The, the nuts that hold down the wires are a four millimeter Allen right there. And then I have the copper neutral. I also rebuilt the stand where it's gonna go. Let's see if I can get you there so right in here is where it's gonna sit and I rebuilt this stand but I didn't film it because hopefully you won't have to do it and if you do it's gonna be different than the way I did mine anyway so but it's it's in there it's level and it's fixed so now we're gonna install the converter hopefully I'll focus in all right, we're gonna start with the black wire. And the black wire is positive. I know this is backwards to 12 volt wiring, but the black one is positive and the white is negative. The positive is this red one that's gonna go in here and the negative is this black one that's gonna go in here. We're gonna give it the little tug test. It's good, the tug test. Okay, and now the negative. 
Now, just, just to remind you, I do have the battery disconnected and I also have the shore power disconnected. That's why I'm using this little light down here. That looks good. Tighten it down. Give it the tug test. Give the positive a tug test again. Looks good. The neutral, I'm not going to be able to get down here, so we're going to shove it up in here. Readjust the camera. Putting in the converter, there's three screws. There's one, there's one on the inside and two on the outside. The one on the inside I have in there and I'm gonna leave it loose so I can slide it in to that screw. Then I'll put the other screws in and then I'll tighten it all down. Okay. All right, it's in the first screw. So the back screw right there, I just slid it underneath that and it's loose. And then on this side, I have to put a screw there and a screw there. And then I have to put the neutral right there. So I'm gonna move the camera because it's in the way and you can't see it. And all I'm gonna do is put those screws in and put that neutral on and then I'll be right back. Okay, there's my new converter. It's in there. It's all screwed in, buttoned down. I got the wire fed back up underneath and plugged in in the electrical panel. So now we're just gonna button it up. Gonna throw this panel on it. that goes and then we'll put the dinette back in all right get his new I'm not gonna put the vent back vent cover back on yet because as you can see it's broken I'm gonna run to the hardware store and see if I can get a cheap new cover that fits and all I got left is put the plate back on there and then we'll come back and throw the battery in. Down in there. So I'm going to put that cover on and go get the battery. I'll be right back. Alright, this is the battery that I'm putting in. This is the battery I'm taking out. This is a 70 amp hour AGM marine type RV battery and it is 80 pounds. This is a mini lithium lipo 4 lead time battery and it's 100 amp hours you're gonna see if it can compete we'll see which one's better <clears throat> all right the battery's installed and I just wanted to say a couple things. Uh, first off, the AC power, the white is ground and the black is positive, but the DC, the red is positive and the black is ground. So when you're hooking up your battery, don't get that confused. Make sure that you have the right black on the power side and the right black on the negative side. What I do, if you can notice that I have the red and black covers right here and right here I string all my negative through that cover and all my positive through that cover and then bolt them down just to alleviate the confusion also I wanted to point out that this battery that I'm replacing I don't remember if I told if I said it or not but the battery this new battery is 14 pounds the old battery is 80 pounds so that's going to be quite a bit of difference. I know I have way too much plugged directly into the battery. I do have, as you can see on the right there, I have a battery on off switch, a disconnect. Um, that's about, that's it. But I do have some buses I'm going to put in there, some 
positive and negative buses so I can take things off the battery. But my other battery had regular battery terminals and some of these were hanging off the terminals. This one doesn't, it just has a bolt through it. So I need to wire this up, but that might be another video. I'm also going to put two batteries in here since I can fit two of these minis in here. And so I'm going to have to rewire for that anyway. But for now, this is working. I'm pretty happy with it. It's up, we're all up in lithium now, and I think it's a nice upgrade. Uh, for the price, I think the controller was $220. Or sorry, the converter, not the controller. The converter was $220. It was super simple to put in. I hope I didn't make it look hard. It was, I mean, we're in a camper, so it's, it's hard to get space. Plus, I had to do it with no power on. And then the battery was about $250. It's a Lee Time Mini, 100 amp hour. And when I do go dual batteries, I think I'm gonna do two Lee Time Minis. I could probably almost fit three in there, but I don't think I need three for anything. I think two should be good. And uh, that's about it. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, if this video helped anybody. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to say too, that my Lance Camper is a 2008 and it was set up for lead acid AGM and I, ch I switched the, the controller or the converter so it could run lithium. So if you have an older Lance, this is how you do it. I hope this helps out. If it does, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.